And now we have an update on a deadly hit and run in Methuen. The man accused of hitting a woman with his motorcycle and driving away was in court today. NBC 10's Darren Botello has details. Martin Quinlan facing a judge on Tuesday pleading not guilty in connection to the hit and run death of 62 year old Army veteran Pamela O'Neill. Commonwealth is very concerned that time and time again he does not have a license. He shouldn't be operating a motorcycle or any type of a motor vehicle. He's in violation of his bail warning and has a history of not abiding by conditions. The 29 year old is accused of slamming into the former paratrooper from Methuen with a motorcycle on his birthday before taking off. Surveillance video showing a motorcycle speeding down Lowell Street, hitting O'Neill around 8.30 Sunday night. During the arraignment, prosecutors say Quinlan initially told police his motorcycle was stolen when they tracked him down. However, um, after he begins speaking um, with the police and learning of the evidence, um, he does admit um, that he was operating the, motor, the motorcycle at the time of the accident. He says um, to the officers, no, I didn't see her. It happened so fast. He wasn't sure what happened. But an attorney for Quinlan said the Andover High School graduate fully cooperated with police during the investigation. I've spoken to Mr. Quinlan. He himself is very upset about the uh, O'Neill's family speaking with us on Monday night when police arrested Quinlan a day after O'Neill was killed, walking to a convenience store. Anybody that does what he did and, and just left somebody to lie there like they're nothing deserves everything he's going to get. Quinlan is being held on $200,000 bail and is expected back in court on June 6th. Darren Botello, NBC10 Boston.